Welcome back to the channel. This is Natasha with Spirit Animals Art, and I wanted to introduce you guys to my new kit, the Green Rifleman Bird. This makes two birds. If you want to uh, see more, check that out in the Etsy shop. This is an introduction to what you will get, so enjoy! <music> Hello, hello, this is Natasha Parvin with Spirit Animals Art, and this is the tutorial for the rifleman bird from New Zealand called the Titipunamu. And this is my first uh, kit tutorial. I have uh, several different uh, felt along with me videos on the YouTube channel, but this is the first one where I've attempted to put together a kit to follow along. These little birds have been really popular, little nesting birds. They don't have feet. They, they're made for nests. Um, just really simple but really cute. And so I thought it would be great to just put together a tutorial on how to do it because um, a lot of people have really taken to needle felting and it's so fun and relaxing. Uh, I just like to uh, put something out there that other people can uh, enjoy and do something that's not going to wreck your brain trying to <laughs> figure out how to do too many techniques. This this is super, super simple. I mean, there's, there's not a lot to it. Um, I try to walk you through it very thoroughly so that you can be sure that you're doing it correctly. Um, but these are the little birds. They're about two inches from here to here. That's not counting the beak and the tail. Um, it make, the kit will make two, possibly three, if there's enough material left over. But I give four sets of eyes. That way, if you some of them run, run away, like mine do, uh, I'll have a, an eye and one of them will go missing somehow. <laughs> so you'll definitely have enough where you should be able to have two sets of eyes, but um, you should, if you're very good at keeping up with your eyes, you'll have two extra sets of eyes and you can make more birds with any materials that you have around. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of fluff to make these little babies. Um, I will go over the materials and everything in the video. Uh, the basic kit comes with needles, materials, a little bit of glue, ice, and it comes in this cute poly nailer. You can choose to add on a felting mat if you don't have one. This is just simple foam. There's nothing special about it, but if you don't have something, uh, it just works really good. Nice and lightweight. If you want to gift a kit, or if you would just like to have a nice box to put everything in. Um, I also have an option to do the gift box and it has this really nice logo that my daughter made on here. And um, all of your supplies fit right inside there. Okay, um, and these are the stickers that my daughter has made. of this Rifleman Titu Punami bird. All right, so let's go. Let's jump right in. This project will take around two hours. It may take you longer than that, don't worry. If it does, you will get better as you go and you can put as much detail or as little detail on your bird as you like. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's go. This little bird is so cute and this project actually turns out to be about the right size. Okay, so the materials that will come in the kit. We've got some black craft felt. This is what we're going to use for the wings, at the base of the wings actually. And two needles, so the one wrapped in blue is a 38 gauge star needle. 
and then the one in wrapped in the green is a 40 uh, spiral needle and so the 38 we will use for most everything and the 40 is just for finishing details and if you're very careful with your needles they should last and not break on you okay so ev everything um, all the materials here the wool actually is from Serafina Fiber Art and I just love their wools. I get the majority of my supplies from Sarah. Okay, so the middle here is the off-white chunky core. And um, there's enough here for two birds, possibly three, as long as you don't go overboard. There might be enough scrap left over to try another one. I have it uh, separated into two, so that way you know you have uh, plenty for your birds. Um, the darker green here on the left is called oregano and we will mix that with some of the kiwi which is the green on the right and the, as much as you want to mix in there is going to be your preference. You'll also use some for accents and then down at the bottom here um, are some pelts that uh, Serafina Fiber Art they custom blend these with several different types of wool as in silks and different things and I just love the pelts because they're just so versatile and they're nice and fluffy and they work really well on the birds so this first one is horse coat silver the second one is uh, snow hair and um, that's what we're going to use for the belly of the bird. And then, uh, let's see, we have the black. I don't actually use um, full black. I like to use what's called raven, and it's also a pelt. It has purples and blues and different things mixed in. Um, let's see, the last one is sunflower. It is also a custom blend and the name of it is sunflower but of course you could use any colors that you wish they don't have to be these custom blends but this is just my preference um, what I like to use to make the birds nice and fluffy I also include four sets of glass eyes these are Czech glass uh, pearl black beads four millimeters I found is a good size. You can also actually get just the little, um, I think they call them seed beads at Walmart. They're a little bit smaller and they're a little bit elongated, but that's what I used in the beginning for the birds and they work out really well because you're putting a rim around the eye anyway. Um, so you don't actually have to order anything special like these that I did order because they're nice and round but the ones from a craft store from Walmart work just as well and you can get a nice big jar of them to do all kinds of projects mice birds little chipmunks whatever whatever your heart desires on that so and then I also include a, a single-use tube of super glue and that's just in case you don't have any kind of craft glues um, like E6000 or super glue on hand. That's just a nice little um, thing. That way you don't have to, uh, you know, if you have all of your materials but some glue, you don't have to wait. You've got it right there. Okay. This is the little template I made to keep everything in proportion. A few materials that you might already have or you might think of getting. Um, this is a pen tool and you can put up to three needles in this one I believe. I usually put about two. Um, this is a punch tool and it takes five needles and that's that will be your finishing needles that just helps ears and wings and things go faster. I would highly recommend to get a pair of these. These are just cuticle scissors. They are curved and so they're really good at getting in tight spaces and for these birds 
the contouring of clipping the hair works really good. Um, I love my Fisker scissors. They're very sharp and they're easy on your hands. E6000 is a good glue to use. I like how thick it is. I can put it where I want and it stays. If you're kind of new, you might want to protect your fingers with some finger guards. Um, oh, you will need a toothpick or a thick, kind of a thick um, sewing needle when we wrap the beak. But if you don't have any of that, you actually can wrap it around your needle. Um, I, I have this felting surface that I've made. It's my very favorite. So you'll need some sort of felting surface. And I do recommend putting some craft felt over the top of your felting surface. That just helps things um, not stick and get into your project. This is how your basic kit will come. It will come inside of a poly mailer and it'll have all of the supplies in there ready to go. Other options are to get a the full kit uh, with mat and a giftable box. And so that's what this looks like. So that's good. You could gift a um, needle felting kit or you could make the needle felting kit, put it in the box and send the finished project to someone. So the video is almost two hours and we go over everything that you need to do to make your little birdie. Um, you can make a male and a female or you could make uh, two males. Uh, the only difference in the two is the female has got more gray on her. And so it's just a fun little project. I hope that you will join me and go check it out and see if it's something that you want to do. It's on Etsy. My shop is called Spirit Animals Art Shop. That's at Etsy. And if you guys have any questions, just shoot me an email at spiritanimalhelpers at gmail.com. Thanks so much.